群宝，过几天寺里就要选武僧进达摩院了，你有没有信心啊？哎呀，行就行，不行就不行，随缘了。你说什么？我可是要当少林寺第一武僧，要不然干嘛练铁头功？哎，你现在敲第几块了？十七了。十八。哦，你什么时候练了后脑都不告诉我？我还没练。The monk who was knocked out is the later famous Zhang Junbao and does not speak of martial arts virtues called Dong Tianbao. The two have entered Shaolin since childhood, grew up together, like brothers, although the master has always let them win the floor sweeper monk. But Tianbao is determined to become the first Shaolin martial monk in order to achieve this dream. He pulled Junbao up every morning and night to practice hard to eat, practice horse dance on time, sleep to practice iron head kung fu, even the time to wash clothes is not spared. Dharma Academy selection of martial arts monks is about to start. Tian Bao to ensure that nothing is wrong, even to violate the rules of Shaolin Temple. Stole the master's bonjour palm. Finally came to the day of selection. The rules are simple and brutal. One-on-one -on -one single challenge. The first four to enter the Dharma Academy to further study the best martial arts. The first match is Tian Bao against Lin Bao because the two had some small problems before. So Tian Bao came up to give it their best shot and soon had the upper hand. A move of powerful Vara hand will be thrown out of the other side. It seems that the victory is in hand. It was not expected that the poorly educated Xin Bao would suddenly cheat. Yeah! The short-serving senior heard this and immediately stormed out, rushing over to disable Tian Bao's martial arts. Although Tian Bao's martial arts is the ceiling among his peers, but it is not the same level as the uncle. In an emergency, he used the stolen bonjour palm. Each of the martial monks took a long stick in hand and formed a formation of stacked luauan, surrounding Tian Bao and the two of them in the middle. As soon as the words were spoken, countless sticks were shot out, knocking the two men dizzy. It was a good thing that Jun Bao, who had a high level of enlightenment, could see the break in time, and the two of them returned the sticks with sticks, and their exquisite coordination soon cracked the formation completely. The stick monks heard the command to change formation again, and this time they mainly fought in a wheel battle. Even if the two men were highly skilled in martial arts, they could not withstand the wave after wave of rotating attacks, and just when they were struggling to support themselves. The two men's master suddenly broke the door, and let them go without breaking the rules of the temple. The two men knew they had made a big trouble, and hurriedly kneeled down to the master to admit their fault. But Shaolin Temple rules are very strict, although the master could not bear, but also in accordance with the rules of the temple will be expelled from Shaolin. Before leaving, he gave Tian Bao a book of Qigong Mind. Hopefully, it will bring peace to the victorious him. Thus the two reluctantly went down from the mountain, relying on the street around to beg for a living, only to see several, 
Woolies are to pay protection fees, cannot afford to pay a big fight to the peddler. Then they also molested the good woman Xiao Dongwa, did not expect the action of Xiao Dongwa Agile, backhanded to a handful of sheep, they scavenged the money and returned to the vendor, the bully found the money bag was taken. With his men rushed to the small winter melon. Small winter melon although agile but mediocre martial arts, did not bounce a few times then fell into the table. Fortunately, the two Jun Bao appeared in time. <laughs> Never touched a woman Tian Bao, Si Xiao Dongga's stunning face, the whole person instantly froze. Jun Bao is more than enough to deal with a few bullies, not a few blows to them, all down, when a group of officials came to hear the sound. The three of them fled to a stable, seeing that the officials were about to come after them. The clever little winter melon on the spot. The two people into the Korean rhinoceros, which successfully cheated the pursuers. At this time, the street and a group of official soldiers, in front of the open road rampage. Anyone who did not have time to get out of the way will be beaten. Tian Bao's seemingly careless words have fully demonstrated his desire for power. In order to thank the two for their help, Xiao Dong Guo invited them to the Buddha Smile House for a big meal, but Jun Bao was attracted by the sad sound of the zither on the side. While Tian Bao was staring at Xiao Dong Guo as if smitten, Xiao Dong Guo also saw his heart and gave Tian Bao a piece of swan meat. However, just then, a group of people walked in with high spirits, led by none other than Liu Jin's sister Liu Fu. But when a few people had just settled down, the woman playing the piano went over to them. Xiangko, Cho Shiwa didn't expect the husband to be so thin-skinned, his heart ashes he returned the token of love to Murong Bai, and then turned away, but Liu Fu Po was unforgiving, when he was Liu Gong's sister arrogant and domineering, did not expect the seemingly thin Cho Shiwa is also deep hidden, the solid foundation of the fight Liu Fu Le has no power to fight. The unsuspecting Liu Fu Pao had to make a fool of himself, rushed on an operation as fierce as a tiger, Cho Shiwa bent down and kicked him in the skull. Morong Bai rushed forward to comfort Liu Fu Pao. Unexpectedly, the other hand is a big backhand mouth, was beaten Morong Bai dare not bear his teeth, but instead came over to take Kiyuchu to take the piss. Jun Bao, who couldn't stand watching, flew out and kicked Morong Bai, then fought with the other side's men while freeing his hands to protect Cho Shiwa. <laughs> Suddenly, the soldiers arrived again. <laughs> several people disguised as land eunuchs, and once again brushed past the soldiers. Then several people returned to the Buddha's smile house. After settling the injured Cho Shiwa, Jun Bao two people were taken in, playing the floor, Tian Bao is not willing to be a fence, thinking of the day the mighty Liu Gong, he has a new goal in life, that is, to be a powerful and powerful officials, in contrast, Jun Bao go to rest in the status quo, as long as there is no guilt in the heart, just go with the flow. Shortly after they fell asleep they were awakened by the sound of a group of people talking. It turned out that the people of the Buddha Laughing House were all Jianghu warriors, who had rebelled against Anak Liu, and Tian Bao wanted to turn them in so that they could soar to greatness, but they were stopped by Jun Bao, who did not want to cause any trouble. Buddha Laughing House worth 500 tails per person, again moved by the Tian Bao and Jun Bao stopped, the two in order to make a living choose to sell art in the streets, a money any punch called pain, then pay 3 money, vomiting blood, then pay, 6 money, the passing tycoon directly to a 50 yuan, the result is a crazy output after attired themselves panting. Tian Bao see the situation directly acting, full full, pretend to look like a lot of pain.
Two people feel the pleasure of being smashed by money for the first time. Although the house guest punched and kicked, it was like scratching an itch to both of them. Jun Bao wanted to take the money to have a full meal, while Tan Bao wanted to buy a big house and be the boss. Just as they were happily picking up the money, a Bigfoot stepped on the copper plate. <laughs> Tian Bao saw that the adult was very happy to be licked by himself and hurried to take this opportunity to propose to follow him. <laughs> Hearing this Tian Bao came back with a wave of divine action, hammering himself hard to please the Lord, Jun Bao saw what the other side did, as if he could not recognize this good brother who grew up together. <laughs> Tian Bao endured the humiliation and finally got what he wanted, pulling Jun Bao and went to join the army, but Jun Bao stood still, indifferent, and the two brothers went their separate ways, from then on because of their different ambitions. After Tian Bao finished his speech, he marched towards his dream. Will Tian Bao be able to become a big official as he wished? And where will Jun Bao go? Please listen to the next issue to explain. Bio, you have to to be. 好不好？点赞呢，投币。说下一个视频吧。你的币价已经刷不到我了，没关系，你要给别人投币啊，币啊，币啊，你每次都白嫖我，怎么还币啊？你这个币，占用我，占用我。